Okay, in this video, we are gonna find the equation of an ellipse from its foci and also its eccentricity. So that's the given information. Let's look at the problem. We wanna find the equation of the ellipse having foci negative nine halves two and negative three halves two and an eccentricity of 12 over 13. So it's an ellipse, so the eccentricity has to be less than one. Not really relevant because it's given, but an important point. Um, all right, so I'm gonna start off and I'm going to find the center of the ellipse because I know the center of the ellipse will be the midpoint of the foci. So I just need to add, uh, well, I need to find the midpoint, right? So you like add the x's, divide by two, add the y's, divide by two. Clearly the y coordinates just gonna be two because two plus two divided by two. The x's, we're gonna have uh, negative, negative nine plus negative three is negative 12, divided by two is negative six but then we have to uh, take half of that. So we get negative six divided by two, comma, two, and then that's gonna give us negative three, two. So we have found the uh, center of our ellipse. The next thing we need to do is uh, we're gonna use the given information, right? We know the uh, foci, so the distance between the foci is two times C because the distance from the center to a focus is C. So we could find this in either way. I'm gonna just do two C. So the distance between the foci is 2c. So if I find the distance between these, uh, 2c is going to be negative 3 halves minus negative 9 halves. Um, and then negative 3 halves minus negative 9 halves is negative 3 halves plus 9 halves is 6 halves is 3. So 2c is equal to 3, which means that c is 3 halves. All right, we know c. The next thing we need to do is think like, what else do we know? We know the eccentricity, and eccentricity is C over A. So you got to remember a lot of things, but if you do, you just kind of step through the problem and you, you get everything. Um, so eccentricity is C over A. So C over A is going to be 12 over 13. Now the key here is that C is 3 halves, right? So we have to sub that in and we'll just solve for A. So 3 halves over A is going to be 12 over 13, which means uh, you can kind of cross multiply. Uh, you get 12a is 39 over 2, which means that a is 39 over 24. And then you can reduce that by a factor of 3, which you should. You always want to like get the simplest form of these because you're going to end up squaring them. So a is 13 over 8. All right, now where do we go from here? Well, we know a and we know c. So we know that for an ellipse, c squared is a squared minus b squared. Another thing that we need to walk into the problem knowing or we're not really going to have a chance of solving this. So I'm just going to sub in. So our value of C is 3 halves, which we'll square. It's going to be our value of A, which we square, minus B squared, which we're going to try to find. So uh, multiply it out. And we get this. And then from here, we are going to... Uh, I'm going to add B squared to both sides and then subtract 9 fourths. But I'm going to rewrite that as... Uh, 9 times 16 is 144 over 64 for a common denominator. So now I know that b squared, which is really what I need. I don't actually need to know b. I need b squared for the equation. But b squared is 25 over 64, which means that b by itself is going to be 5 over 8. All right, so we have this. The next thing that we want to do is actually find the equation. We have a lot of information. We know a and b. Uh, we know the center. And then we also key know the foci because the foci will tell us if we have a horizontal major axis or a vertical major axis. Because if the foci are on a horizontal line, we have a horizontal major. If the foci are on a vertical line, we have a vertical major axis. And that determines where x and y go in our equation. So if we plot them, we have uh, y is equal to 2 for both of them. So the foci are on a horizontal line, which means we have a horizontal major axis which means the value of a squared will be underneath x. So our equation uh, is going to look like the quantity x minus negative 3. So that should be x plus 3. My bad. I'm going to try to fix that. Um, and then I'm going to have to fix that again. Hold, hold your horses. So it's minus negative 3, so plus 3. Um, now, we said that because it's horizontal, the value of a will be underneath x. So it's going to be the quantity 13 over 8, and we're going to square that, and then therefore b squared is underneath y, so 5 over 8 squared, and then we can uh, simplify this, so you end up with 
uh, the quantity x plus 3 squared over 169 over 64, but I'm going to simplify that. I don't want a complex fraction. So I'm going to have 64, and then uh, I need to change that to a plus, and then plus y plus 1 squared, and we would have had 25 over 64, but we invert the fraction to make it 64 over 25, and let me change this minus into a plus so that it's correct. And there you go. Uh, that's how you do the problem. I hope this was helpful, and good luck.